Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Carrie and today I'm doing my April, not a wrap up, haul. I'm doing my April haul. English is not working well for me today. Actually rather proud of the limited number of books I bought in April. I only bought nine, which is pretty good for me considering I've bought probably three times that some months. But without further ado, let's get into the books. So the first one, which is actually the last one I bought this month, is Ash Princess by Laura Sebastian. This is about a this is a YA fantasy about a young girl, she's a princess, her kingdom is taken over, she's called the Ash Princess in a derogatory way. She decides that she's going to dissemble this new usurper's throne from the inside. And since she apparently is not good at the more physical aspects of it, like fighting, she goes with the only weapon she has available, her brain. That's all I know about this. It sounded pretty good. Um, as soon as I can stomach some YA again, I will be reading this rather quickly. I also heard from Reagan over at Prue's Project that the Shattered Realms novels, or trilogy I think it is, uh, by Cinda Williams Chima is completed or at any rate a new book came out and I own Flamecaster the first book but I didn't own the second and the third one just came out so I just went and bought them both. The second one is Shadowcaster and the third one is Stormcaster. I don't like the cover changes, not gonna lie, I'm not a huge fan of people on the front of fantasy books but they don't have the old covers for these because they, you know, changed it. At any rate, I am excited to read these books because I love this author. She's fantastic. Um, the only problem is, the first book is in my closet in Colorado, so I have to go to the library and get it, or wait until I'm back in Colorado to read it. We'll see which one comes first, but I bought these. Over Easter, I went to Duluth to visit my family, and there's this cute little used bookstore up in Two Harbors, and we, my aunt and I went there to just browse, and I found something as usual. So there I bought Leaves of Grass by Walt Whitman, which is a poetry collection, and primarily I bought this because my friend Katie, the one who's in Nicaragua, adores Walt Whitman. Honestly adores him. Um, I've been looking to branch out into poetry a little bit. I prefer poetry in Spanish, I just think it's beautiful. But she absolutely loves Walt Whitman, so I thought I'd give it a try, and it was pretty cheap. I also got the Brothers of Gwynedd Quartet by Edith Pargeter. And this one is a historical fiction about Wales. I think it's medieval Wales, and I know very little about Wales in general. I know that Cardiff is in Wales, and there's a castle that was taken over, and that one of the Edwards had his wife, pregnant wife, right out there, so that the next Prince of Wales would be this king's son because he was born in Wales. There's a whole mess, but that's about all I know. So I'm really excited to read this book and just explore something I haven't before. I also got Herchato in Sepia. I think I don't actually know how to pronounce that in Spanish. I just keep wanting to say sepia, which I'm fairly certain is not right. Anyway, by Isabel Allende. Chile in the 19th century. That's about all I know, but this is a fairly short read. I've wanted to read Isabel Allende in Spanish since I read Island Beneath the Sea by her in English. So I'm really excited about this and because it's shorter, I think I might get to it sooner. I then bought a giant collection of F. Scott Fitzgerald's works because it just seemed like a good idea, so why not? This is honestly just a giant collection. It was really cheap and I liked I like uh, Fitzgerald after reading The Great Gatsby, so I wanted to branch out and see what else of his there was. The penultimate book is Firebrand by Kristen Britton. This is the newest in her Green Rider series, which I love, Butterall in Colorado. There's a theme. So I'm really excited to read this. I'm also a little bit nervous because her books always kill me. There's, oh, there's so much in them, so much. But I am very excited to read this and find out what happens to Kerrigan after Mirror Sight. And then the last book, which was actually one of the first books I bought, is The Bookworm by Mitch Silver. This is a book about two different people, one in Europe in 1940 and one in Europe in 2018. There's spies and libraries and cold wars and all that fun stuff in this. I'm so excited to read it, but to be honest, I primarily bought it for the cover. How can you say no to that? For all of the books I bought in April, like I said, I'm pretty proud of having only bought nine. 
If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up down below. If you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button down below. As always, I will leave my Goodreads linked in the down bar. But until my next video, bye!